During module five, we are going to put everything together at this point. So during research check-in number one in the previous module, you hopefully found six articles that work. You're going to review the feedback that your professor gave you to ensure that you had six articles that work. And then now that you have six articles, hopefully, that are primary, that all help you answer your research question, now you're going to figure out how everything connects. You're going to figure out a potential thesis statement, and then you're going to put the research into a research table. So we're starting to put together the final pieces now. So just a reminder, as you're looking through your articles, just a reminder on how to read a scientific article. Number two here, writing a literature review. So even though we're not writing a full paper this semester, instead you're doing a presentation, but even in that presentation, you're going to have text. Um, and with that, it's, it's important to see kind of the key pieces that need to be included. Number three here, this is the table that you're going to use to complete the uh, peer review assignment that's due this week. And then you'll submit your final version of the table next module during research check-in number two. So this is just your chance to get some feedback to really put some time into this table because you'll see that the only assignments this week are the quiz and the table. So I hope that that gives you some time to really put some thought into how all your research articles connect and kind of really paring down to the key points of each article. So you'll watch each of the videos. The thesis statement is going to be a part of what you're going to put into your research table. So you'll watch that video, you'll watch the research table video that explains the table step by step. So please watch these because this will really help you put together a good table to make you successful for both the peer review and the research check-in number one, which again will be next module. So you'll have the quiz per normal after you review everything. Then if you're struggling to find a peer to review for the peer review process, um, you can post your email here. It's just kind of an open discussion board. So just be um, appropriate with your language to say in this, like, I need a partner. Here's my name. Here's my email address. Please contact me. This is my topic if you want to share that. But um, otherwise, I would suggest that you could contact people that were in your previous apple cider vinegar group. Um, if that was a positive experience for you, uh, you could contact them. So if you're struggling to find a peer, I would start on this early. Um, don't do it the night that it's due. Then here's the assignment for the peer review research table. So really read the instructions here as you're going to trade papers with a peer or the research table, you'll trade that with a peer. Then you will edit that document using Google Docs. Be sure that you don't resolve any of the comments that your peer makes, otherwise they're not going to show up. So keep it the way that they edited it. So you're adding 10 comments throughout the document itself then you are adding a 200, at least a 200 word summary at the end of the research table to explain to your peer what they did well and what you think they can improve on. Also review the rubric here. So just making 10 comments isn't enough. The comments also need to be correct and give correct information based off of what we've talked about in class so far. So ensure that your citation advice is correct, um, that you're giving good advice on what to include in a thesis statement, et cetera. So just making 10 comments isn't enough. They also need to be high quality comments. Um, and then you're also scored on your uh, summary at the end of their, their paper. So review that assignment in depth. 
And again, this is just your chance to get some feedback from your peers before we submit this table in research check-in number two. So really put some time into it. I don't want to see incomplete tables submitted to your peers. Um, that will be a point deduction on you personally, not on a peer who's grading yours. So if you do not submit a full table, then I will go into your grade and that will be a deduction in points on this assignment. So please email me with any questions as always and I hope module five goes well for you.